It is a new season for Arizona Athletics. It starts on Friday when the soccer team and new coach Becca Moros play at Utah Valley. As for home games, masks and or vaccines won't be mandatory, at least as of now. I caught up with Athletic Director Dave Hickey. We'll follow along with the university protocols and recommendations. Um, we're going to make sure that there is masking or social distancing on indoor spaces and, uh, and look forward to making a good environment for our fans to come back and support Arizona Athletics. We want full houses and full crowds. Certainly football hasn't played a game yet, but what's your evaluation of Jed Fish so far and what he's done? Well, he's done a great job of getting to that point, uh, putting our program in a position to be successful and to grow. And uh, the elements of building a program that has had challenges uh, is, is always difficult. But Jed's handled it so well, and I think we're positioned for a lot of success going forward. We're sitting here, standing here in the same situation with men's basketball in the waiting process. How do you feel about how long this IARP situation has gone? Well, we look forward to a conclusion. I, I hope that we can come to a rapid conclusion. Uh, we've been incredibly cooperative, we've, and we look forward to a resolution. I think it's time for a resolution, and, uh, and uh, we look forward to that. Tell everyone a little bit more about what they're going to see at the Lou Olson Celebration of Life. Well, you know, we'll have an opportunity to recognize one of the iconic figures, maybe the most iconic figure in Arizona and Arizona basketball, and uh, a chance to come together, the community, the family, everyone who's connected through Coach Olson. And we'll do that here at McHale Center on September 12th, and we look forward to that day. All right, now let's show you the money. Hickey disclosing that losses were $26 million over the past season. Uh, that's despite uh, budget cuts and layoffs, and that's because revenues were down 45 million due to COVID-19. To address the deficit, Hickey says the athletic department is taking out a bridge loan from the university with 15 years to pay it back, but he says it should be paid back sooner. Uh, back to the mass and vaccines, yep. Pat. You know, the situation, the information uh, didn't change today, but at least three NFL teams in Tulane University now have stricter policies in place. So we'll see if other colleges follow that in the coming time. Yeah, you never know. Three and a half weeks till the home opener for Arizona football could change before then. We'll have yeah, to wait yeah, and see. Sure. All right. Thanks, Jason. We're going to have one check.